Welcome to the Real Andy of Beverly Hills Show. Hello, Beverly Troop. Welcome back. I'm the Real Andy of Beverly Hills, and welcome to another piece of of the day on this beautiful and amazing Wednesday. It is the middle of the week. Happy hum day to every single one of you. And girl, I'm here trying to recover in, in recovery. You know, if you have been watching my videos, you know that I have been very sick. You know, I have been a little bit absent because girl, it has been like a lot. You know, I'm I'm barely hanging in there, you know, so the little energy that I have well, I'm here with you guys because this is what I love to do is just spill the tea. And girl, get ready because we need to talk Real Housewife of Beverly Hills. Because if you thought that, you know, um, Teddy will do anything to be just like Kyle, well, you're right. You're literally right. Because basically, Kyle was the reason why Teddy decided to fall for divorce. And we need to talk about it. But before we get into it, welcome back. If you are new here, welcome to the Verbally Troop, where I keep it real and I mention it all. So if you want to know what is happening inside of the Bravoverse with the pop culture street and more, well, you know what to do. Subscribe, 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 and hit that notification bell. And girl, before we start, we need to give a shout out to our partners of this video and are the people from Rose Forever. As you know, I love this partnership, Rose Forever. They have amazing real roses that last up to a year. Yes, they look amazing. They smell amazing. They have different shapes, different colors. You know, they ship everywhere around the world. So if you want to go and get your roses, especially with the holidays just around the corner, well, just go to the link in the description below. And just by clicking on my link, you will automatically get 20% of your order, okay? So go and get your roses from Rose Forever right now. <clears throat> All right, guys. Let's talk about this uh, mess. Girl, you know, like, I, I found it so funny that everyone is constantly saying that, you know, Teddy it, just leaves for Kyle, you know, that Teddy... Uh, wants to be Kyle, you know, that she just wants to, like, morph herself into Kyle, right? And when I was reading this, I was like, oh, girl, no, no, you know? When Teddy decided to file for divorce, right, there was a lot of chatter around town, and they were saying, like, of course, Kyle Richards filed for divorce, so of course Teddy's going to file for divorce as well, you know, kind of like a... a, a reaction a chain reaction to everything you know now there is a lot more to the divorce of course you know especially now given that miss teddy mellencamp has been allegedly having an affair with a horse trainer for months you know um but it's kind of like funny you know that like one person like carl do this teddy does this carl do that then teddy have to do that as well well now according to a new source it is true Kyle was basically the inspiration behind Teddy Mellencamp actually getting a divorce. And I'm like, girl. So, let me read you this. It says that um, Teddy Mellencamp found the power to end the marriage after being inspired by her best friend, Kyle Richards, who left husband Mauricio Mansky last year. So a source is saying, it was not just one thing that led to it. She will never leave the father of her children over a single thing. It took a long time and a long other things as well, I guess, you know, a really long time and a lot of pain for years for and a lot of pain for years for her to decide that this is what was best for her and the kids she went on a long journey to forgive and trust again the first year she was on real house of very hills she was secretly fighting a lot of trauma no one except maybe kyle knew about it 
but again wanted to keep her family together so they worked through it privately. She, Kyle, kept her secret and didn't expose it for the cameras. Teddy really conf confided in Kyle and they built that sister-like trust. I think once Kyle left Mauricio and got that empowered independence, it helped Teddy see the light of being like, oh, I can make these decisions no matter my age, even if I have kids and I, and I will still be okay. So really, Kyle was the catalyst, catalyst I'm sorry, of Teddy finding the power to leave a situation that no longer suited her and Kyle has been a rock for Teddy throughout this and is helping her navigate this new life. Girl, come on. Look, I get it. You know, I think, of course, like we are fixating a lot in the fact that, you know, Teddy had an affair. And of course, you know, a lot of things must have happened. And of course, that marriage was not working for a very long time. You know, it is, I mean, it, 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 that's, the reality of it you know but she's really gonna come here and say that that you know kyle was the cataclysm and that she can be independent and can all of these things girl i think when you decided to ride more than the horse you were showing yourself that you were independent enough to do things you know what i mean and let's all remember this is allegedly not a one night stand this was a month month long affair with a married man so, I mean, you can try to paint it as, you know, women empowerment, you know, and like suffering. And you're going to tell me that on your first season of The Real House of Beverly Hills, you have a potentially amazing storyline that the whole world would have been next to you because everyone would, at that moment, everyone would have had her side. Everyone would, would have been like, oh, that cheater, that piece of shit, how could he, how whatever, you know. And she decided not to say anything, girl. And then you come here and complain saying what people call you boring. When you have a powerful storyline instead of the stupid shit that Poppy Gate was. No, I'm so sorry. Like this is the, I mean, take accountability for your actions. You know, I'm not saying that she is a hundred percent to blame on today's, you know, of course the, the husband must be like a little piece of shit as well, you know? We also know that he cheated as well at some point, right? But also take accountability because the cheating thing happened. I mean, if this is true, the cheating thing happened probably before she joined Real House of Beverly Hills. And that was what? Like, how many years has been since this happened? I mean, probably like, shit, like six years, seven years? I don't know, eight years maybe? So, and you're telling me that because he had a one-night stand seven, eight years ago, now you can have a full-on month-long affair now in 2024? Girl. Mm -mm. Take accountability for your actions. This is not Kyle's fault. This is not anyone's fault. You decided to go out there and have an affair. Maybe, yeah. The marriage was broken, period, you know? But the mistake is you decided to, I mean, instead of breaking up the engagement, the, the engagement, the marriage, you decided to have an affair with a married man and wreck, wreck another family. Girl, bye. I mean, how, how can, like, help me help you, you know? How can we defend any of this at this point? I don't know. So anyways, let me know what you guys think on the comments below. And if you want to get all the tea related to The Real Housewife of Beverly Hills or any of the other Bravo shows, Make sure to like this video, share this video, subscribe to my YouTube channel, and I'll see you around. See ya. Bye.